Hello. Today we're going to talk about the bridge exercise. And as we've talked about in the past, uh, our, cult our culture suffers from excessive sitting. So when we're sitting, uh, not only are we rounded in shoulders, um, our hips are, are in flexion, right? Um, so we look at the hips, our hip flexors are tight, our quads are tight, our core is disengaged, um, our glutes are just kind of hanging out here, not engaged, and when we stand up, we're walking around like this. Um, so one of the most common imbalances I see in my clients is an anterior pelvic tilt. And what that's gonna, so we look at the pelvis and we, if I tilt it backwards posteriorly, we see this movement. And if I tilt it forwards anteriorly, we see this movement. So the core is not really working, the glutes are not fired up. Uh, a lot of pressure in the lumbar spine here that, uh, can lead to excessive lordosis, uh, back pain either in the disc or in the, the musculature of the lower back. Um, so anyway, how to, uh, easy way to fix that, uh, fire up the glutes, fire up the core, uh, and you can do that with a bridge. Uh, so that looks like this. Uh, for you yogis out there, I'm sure you've done this in class many times, um, and you do that, you come up, you hold it. Well, to make an exercise, you just add repetitions. So uh, first thing you do is lay down your back. You can do this anywhere. All you need is a flat surface. Um, bring your feet in so your, your, your fingertips can just touch your heels. Make sure your hips, knees, and, and ankles are all in alignment. You're going to relax the upper body, press into your hands, looking up, and then you're going to drive the hips up. Engage the core. Pull the navel into the spine. So that's supporting the back. Don't overarch the back. And then press into the heels. Engage the glutes. We come up and squeeze and back down. So it's a one, two, three, squeeze, and one, two, down. One, two, three, and when you come down, make sure not to come all the way down. Leave yourself about an inch from the bottom, and we're going up and down. You should always be able to lift up your toes, so you're pressing into your heels. And remember, keep that core engaged. Don't overarch the back. We don't want to engage those back muscles, so keeping the core nice and strong. Squeezing the glutes, and do about 10 repetitions. Take a little break, and if you can, uh, three sets of 10. Uh, if it, that's easy, then you can do a single leg bridge. So to do that, you're going to kick one leg out, and same thing, lifting, driving into the heel, one side, keeping the core strong. So right now, this is all my left glute. We do 10, and we switch sides, and we're going on the right side. Making sure to keep that alignment nice and straight. Don't let that knee come out or in, and keep the core strong. Also, make sure to breathe. <sighs> breathe out, squeeze, come up. Um, do that three times 10. Uh, a couple days a week. It's going to help strengthen the glutes, the core, uh, help take that pelvis uh, out of anterior tilt. Uh, to know if you have an anterior tilt to your pelvis, uh, just come into QuickFit. Uh, we'll get you measured, see what's going on, um, and uh, we'll prescribe some exercises for you. All right, thanks for watching.